Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Before I start talking about the physical media that's being released today and things like that, and before I head on out to the stores, I have some really cool news uh, to tell you guys. Uh, I've been I've been in talks. Uh, with a really cool director, a person I've met uh, once before uh, at one of his movie premieres. Uh, there's a really cool movie coming out called Mayday 2, which is a which is a really cool you know action horror film that takes place on an airplane. And uh, I've been in talks with the director. I'm gonna have a small role uh, in the film, uh, so it's it's gonna be really damn cool because I I was at the premiere of the original movie uh, Mayday that stars Michael Pire, uh who you guys know from you know Eddie and the Crew and stuff like that and uh, he's, he's he's coming back for part two and uh, when, I, when I saw the original film at the premiere I thought it was really damn really damn cool because I've always liked movies that take place in like you know one location you know like and this movie kind of you know Mayday kind of reminds me of the the airplane movies I liked watching you know back back in like the early 90s like you know turbulence and stuff like I, I don't know I, I, I dig I, I dig the whole the whole vibe and the the whole you know thing that you know my friend uh, Max Searchy is doing he's a director of the film and uh you know i've been in talks with him and you know i'm gonna have like i'm gonna be a small part of this movie of uh, may day 2 and uh they're in the writing process uh, writing process of this uh, new sequel right now and uh, the indiegogo campaign uh, is up right now if you guys want to show it some love show it some support uh, i'll have a link for it in the description box there's a lot of different perks you guys can get depending on you know which tier uh you know you guys get uh, when, when it comes to the, the crowdfunding campaign for this film, Lionsgate, I believe, is uh, putting out the first Mayday movie on uh, DVD uh, real soon. It's going to be in stores everywhere. So they're gearing up for the sequel uh, right now, which is going to be starring Michael Perrier again, you know, uh, Tara Reid. By Ling and a handful of others that are you know that haven't been announced yet, and I just think it's really damn cool. You know what I mean? Like I'm really I'm really excited to see you know what, what's what's going to come of this movie. But if you guys want to show uh, you know this film some love, please check out the India Go Go campaign link in the description box, and I'll, have, I'll also link you guys to the trailer for the first Mayday movie uh, that was made about a year or so ago. And if you guys want to check it out, you guys can see what kind of you know what kind of feel and vibe. You know that that you're gonna see in in part two. You know what I'm saying? But guys, let's talk about what new movies and DVDs and stuff like that are coming out physical media wise today. One of the things that's coming out today, I believe it's today, you're gonna see it in stores, is uh, American Pie Girls Rule. Uh, this is one of the, the new American Pie straight to DVD films. I haven't got around to checking this one out yet because I got this when I was out this past weekend with friends, you know, making some uh, YouTube content and stuff. But it's only being released on DVD. There's no um, uh, blue. Blu-ray release of this film that I've that I've seen on uh, different websites or anything like that, but of course these you know these ten film box sets are that I that I, I got and talked to you guys about a couple a couple uh, you know a week or two ago are coming out today like the Focus Features Films one, the DreamWorks one, the the Blumhouse horror pack right here. These are all being released today uh, in stores, and I, I'm sure you'll see them everywhere. But right now, let's head on out. And see what other stuff we can find. Let's hit up like, you know, maybe the dollar store, the Dollar Tree or something. Well, guys, at my first stop of the day, the local Dollar Tree. I have two of them out here in my area. But let's head on in and see if they actually got those movies. Because like I said, I was here yesterday and they still didn't put them out yet. They had them in the back, but they still didn't put them out yet. This sign has been up for like four, maybe five days now. And uh, let's see if what we see when we walk in. Because from the looks of it, it's just Halloween stuff. Wow, the lady in there had a real attitude on herself. I was here yesterday, told by another employee that they have them in the back, but you know we, you know we haven't put them out yet. And this lady says, you know, we don't, we didn't, we didn't get any new ones in. And I'm like, I was here yesterday. I was told by someone that they have them in the back. They just haven't put them out yet. We don't got them in, sir. Well, guys, my next stop of the day. Goodwill. Let's head on in and see what they got. Well, guys, I just got into the Goodwill right now, taking a look at their stuff to see if what they got in recently. It looks like they got an abundance of like CDs and stuff that were donated to them over the last like I guess like two weeks since the last time I was in here. I came across this right here. I don't know why it's standing out to me, but I'm gonna see if I can scan it and see if it's going for anything on eBay and stuff like that. Cause you guys know I have my eBay store that I'm trying to you know make my little side hustle on and stuff. And they also have this right here. 
which is you know just getting me excited for the new the new Blu-ray set Scream Factory is putting out in like two weeks or so. I I, pre I pre ordered mine, so hopefully I get my my uh my new Shout Factory Friday the Thirteenth set uh you know in in the next week or two. That'll be exciting, man. I'll be doing an unboxing of it and everything. But uh, I, I always like Part 3. Part 3's always been cool. I saw it in 3D in theaters once. Thought that was really badass with like, you know, the 3D glasses, the shitty ones. But like, it was still, it was fun for the experience, you know? But uh, I'm gonna dive through here and uh, see if I can find something, something maybe to add to my collection or to maybe sell, you know, on eBay or something. But who knows? You, you never, you never know what I'm gonna come across. You know, when, you know, when I'm in a thrift store, baby. Because some of this stuff has probably been here for a while, too. You know what I mean? Like, we're all, like, generic, you know, kind of movies. I, lo I love Monique, but this movie is just kind of like, eh. You know what I mean? Like, you come, a lot of, you come across a lot of common stuff, like Harry and Henderson's is good. But, like, you know, oh, wait, is this? See, so something like this may, may make a little bit of money on eBay. Some, so, something, you know, like, things that are a little bit, you know, standout-ish that you don't see too often. Things like this. I may have to look this up and check the disc conditions and stuff on this one. I'll put that off to the side and see. But, uh, yeah, other than that, not a whole, not a whole heap of stuff standing out to me, you know, right off the top of the, right off the, right off the top right here. Super Dave, I remember that one, that, was, that movie was kind of funny. Didn't get anything up in there. I was thinking about getting one or two things to get to sell on my eBay store. I could have, but the, the profit margin is not that, that not that not high enough for me to to, to to jump up on it, you know, compared to the price that they're selling it for with eBay fees and all that jazz. Oh well. At the next destination of the day, Walmart. Let's get on in there. See if there's any cool new releases today. Well, guys, uh, at the new release rack in Walmart over here, and everything kind of looks the same from previous weeks. No real big, no real big new releases except for this right here, the complete first season of Star Girl. The, I didn't even I don't even know about this thing. I, I know there's like a movie called Star Girl that was like on uh, that's on Disney Plus. Has anyone seen this before? I, I always I always like this this uh, you know Wilson brother that that stars in this Star Girl. I never heard about this before. This one right here may have been one of the ones that was released today. The Bay of Silence, uh, right here with uh, Brian Cox. This is put out by Vertical Vertical Entertainment. I never heard of that one as well, but this one may have came out today too. I got a review copy of this in a couple days ago, but I still haven't had a chance to watch it or anything yet. But uh, I'll let you guys know if it's if it's if it's any good in a future review portion of uh, of my videos here. Well, there's definitely not a lot of stuff that's uh, being released today, at least out here uh, in Walmart today. Just Star Girl and those others, the silencing and stuff like that. But dude, check this out. I'm like in the Ch the Chotsky section where they have like you know snow globes and Harley Quinn ones and stuff like that, and they also have like a, a glass right here it says Best Friends, but from the movie Step Brothers. That's kind of cool. But this right here is what I wanted to point out. It's like a little flask that says The Dude Abides on it, the Big Lebowski, and I think that's pretty damn cool. The Dude Abides. But let's get on out of here and go to the last stop of the day. Okay, guys, I'm at the final stop of the day right now. The only other, the only other Dollar Tree uh, that's in my area right here. Let's go in there and see if they got the movies in, because it looks like they have the Weekly Wow, and it's, it has the movies on it. So let's find out. Well, guys, over here at this one, they do have a small selection of stuff out. So maybe they put them out days ago, when I was out of town and stuff. So this one has a couple of um, you know, doll, you know, some of their DVDs in. I don't see a lot of Blu-rays. Looks like a couple of them, like you know, City of Ghosts, City of Ghosts, or something like that, and the life itself the documentary about uh, Roger Ebert which I already have already pretty damn good documentary if you guys see it at your local uh, Dollar Trees and your true film fans I recommend getting this one right here because oh Jody Sweden Jody Sweden's in this I've always had a crush on her since uh, you know uh, Full House and stuff like that even you know Fuller House coming her about the same age I don't know the movie's probably gonna be probably gonna be bad but you know what I may I may just get it paranormal Abduction. Edward Furlong? Hmm. Okay. You know, I love me some Edward Furlong up in this piece. Doctor Who. Okay. There's some semi decent stuff up in here. 
all kind of weird weird stuff but and they do have some uh, they do have some other stuff in here like beyond the gates which was a scream factory release uh, i think there was a blu-ray release of this one too but if you guys have never seen this one really super cool movie i believe it takes place in a video store and stuff like that and they, they also have like an xbox xbox one games in here never never i've seen people's videos where they found xbox games but this is the first one i ever seen uh at a dollar tree but uh who knows they have like invader you know invasion of the body snatchers up in here a couple of other random like casper van dean movies nothing super super crazy though nothing super crazy well at least this one had some movies in it you know compared to like you know the Do my other dollar tree and Cause this one i've never really found much of anything newer you know newer ish wise you know at, at these locations out here in my area i have a stack of stuff i may be getting and i'm checking the section itself over here in the back of the dollar tree it looks like they have a tiny bit more of like overflow stock uh and stuff some of the stuff like i said has been here forever like yogi berra and these uh you know like little little loopers and stuff like that but let's dive in here see if i can come across something kind of cool but the nuns deadly confession uh i don't know about that i don't know about that another little loopers d d13 i remember seeing this one uh a while back i think i i don't know if i need to see it again kind of movie but uh we the party uh blu-ray dvd combo pack carry uh blu-ray this is this one just has one of those walmart little paper covers but this is like you know it's like the walmart standard you know, uh, Blu-ray edition, but just like you know, the, the, the if when you take open the plastic, this thing kind of this thing doesn't really stay there, you know, on the cover or anything like that. But uh, unless you like slide it into the to the Amray, but this is the original carry up in here. Uh, Blood Money. Uh, this one right here has a uh, what's his name again? Gordon Liu. Gordon Liu's up in there. But that, I've seen those ones at Dollar Tree's a whole bunch of times throughout the years. Danny Sinistocker bought this one recently. Never really seen the Tim and Eric show before. Horrible Bosses 2, uh, Well Never in Paris, and hopefully, so hopefully we so I find something else I can maybe grab today, but uh, you know, stay tuned to the end to see what I, what I do grab. Well guys, just got out of the Dollar Tree, picked up a couple things in there. Let's head on home now, and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Alright guys, I'm back home now, I'm about to show you guys what I picked up today. Uh, the only stuff I picked up today was at the Dollar Tree, the one that actually had movies in it. And that didn't give me any attitude when I just asked a question uh, to an employee. It's so strange, man. I hate how certain people, uh, certain people are, you know, at, at certain jobs that they work at. You know what I mean? Like I get it. Some places like Walmart and you know, like places like that where I, I've worked at before and other places. I get it. The jobs are shitty. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I get it when they go, I don't know, I don't care. But when when they come off, you know, to me. I'm just like, hey, I was, you know, I came in here a couple times this week, you know, I kept saying, the, you know, the boxes are in the back, but, you know, we haven't put them out yet, you know, kind of, kind of thing. But the sign's still out there, and it's been like five days, and I'm just kind of like, you know, did you guys, uh, you guys get to be putting them out or anything? He's like, we didn't get the movies. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just strange when it comes to the Dollar Tree, because, like, different people tell me different things, and some people, some employees say we don't have them, and other employees say we do, but we we haven't put them out yet. It's just kind of like, it gets kind of annoying, but the stuff that I did pick up at the one Dollar Tree today uh, was this Xbox One game. I don't have an Xbox or anything, but uh, for a dollar for an Xbox game, I'll get it, and maybe sometime down the road, maybe make a couple dollars on it on my eBay store. Who knows? It's only going for like eight or eight or ten dollars on uh, on eBay right now. I also picked up that Christmas movie uh, that uh, I got just because Jodie Sweden's in it. Big fan of, of course, her, from her and Full House and stuff and Fuller House. She was she was like my crush of the show. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I mean? Me and her were both born in 1982. I think it was, she might have been born in 81. I could be wrong. Uh, but I also picked up that Edward Furlong movie, Paranormal Abduction. I just got it just because he you know he's in it. Big fan of his. Ever since, you know, of course, Terminator 2 and, you know, brain scan and stuff like that. It could be bad, but I want to I wanna see it anyway. And the other thing that I got over there at the Dollar Tree was a, a Shout Factory or Scream Factory title, which I may have seen before, but I'm not 100% sure. But for a dollar, I'm like, okay, I think it's called Pie Wacky. 
<laughs> it's kind of a weird name, but it has a slip cover to it, and it's pretty, you know, pretty decent shape, slip cover wise. I was like, you know what? Just in case I didn't, I didn't have it already. I'll get it and give it, a, give it a whirl. Who knows? It could, it could be good. It could be, it could be bad. Who knows? But I also have um, uh, three different Blu-rays here. I got that I'm gonna review for you guys that I got from different studios that I work with. And uh, the first one up I got. It's from this uh, company I work with called MVD Home Entertainment, where they, you know, uh, you know, they put out a lot of cool stuff, like the Arrow titles, and like the, the last thing they put out was Mikey uh, on Blu-ray that I talked about in one of my previous um, hoarding up videos. But I got this one sent to review uh, a couple weeks ago, but I, I finally got around to watching it today, or you know, a couple days ago, and it's called Max Reload and the the Nether Blasters. And this movie was so cool, man. Uh, it, it has, you know, a whole bunch of different stars in there. Uh, you know, it has Kevin Smith, uh, Craig uh, Gelberg, I think his name is. Uh, it's, it's a really cool cast of, of people up in here. And it's about these kids, you know, that are all about playing online games. You know what I mean? Like playing Dungeons and Dragons and, you know, playing these online games, getting into competitions and trying to be the best at things like that. And, uh, it's about, and they also, these kids work at this, you know, video game shop, kind of like a GameStop or like a family run one. And uh, Kevin Smith is the owner of the, of the video game shop who's always, who's, who's in the back, you know, just, you know, doing his thing. And uh, it's all about this one kid that comes across to one of the rarest games in the world. And he plays it and puts it online. It's like one of those ones that it's like one in a million if you ever find the cartridge of it. And some guy, some mystery, you know, mystery guy walks in there and just drops a box you know, on the counter and walks away and it has that, you know, the, the rare, rarest game in the world. And it's about him playing it, streaming it online, and how it makes the world go crazy. And uh, I found this movie to be a lot of fun. It also has a quick cameo in here by a friend of mine, Charlie Talbert, who played Angus, of course, in the, in the classic movie. Angus uh, plays like a reporter in there for a minute or two. And uh, Kevin Smith plays, like I said, the... Um, the, the owner of this video game shop who's like, you know, kind of wacky and funny himself and during the whole movie he's like in a virtual re virtual reality game, you know, trying to, you know, trying to defeat people. It's really, it's really a lot of fun. If you guys love video game related movies, I think you guys would dig this one. Uh, Max Reload and the Nether Blasters here. A lot of cool special features on it. I don't know, I like the cover, the cover's pretty damn do dope too. Uh, but next up over here, that's, I highly recommend that one though. But the next one up over here I got from Lionsgate the, uh, last week. And I believe it came out last week as well. It stars Katie Holmes, and that is uh, The Secret, Dare to Dream. And this is the movie that's based on the book, The Secret, that was like a real big, uh, big seller, you know, back in the day, I think when I was working at Blockbuster. And they turned that, that book into a movie, and uh, I, I, thought, I thought it was cool. I mean, I'm not a big, I'm not a book reader or anything like that, and I've never read the book, I've never read The Secret, but I pretty much just wanted to see it because Katie Holmes is in there since, I always liked her since like Dawson's Creek. But uh, it's pretty much about her, you know, Katie Holmes' character has, you know, her family, you know, her husband passed away years ago in a, in a plane crash, and, uh, you know, her life's kind of like falling apart, her house is falling apart, you know, all sorts of, all sorts of things are happening to her, until she comes across this one guy that, you know, she, she meets, you know, uh, meets on the road one day, they become friends, and you have to watch the movie to see how things unfold, but, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a typical, you know, romantic, uh, you know, uh, romantic film, but I dig it. I dig it. You, you even get a, uh, what's his name again, Cotton Weary in there, Mr. Jerry O'Connell from Scream uh, up in here as well, playing, you know, one of uh, one of her love interests as well. But if you guys love the book The Secret and you guys want to see it in, in a movie form, this is it right here. I, 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 I enjoyed it. I don't think I'm going to need to watch that one again, but I, I enjoyed it for what it was. And the last one up I got right here that I actually watched this week because I was out doing a, a lot of other things. I didn't get to watch a lot of like you know uh, movies and or screeners that I get sent and stuff. But uh, I watched this one uh, from RLJ Entertainment, and that is the owners uh, here on Blu-ray. And uh, this one I believe uh, may be on Shutter. I could be wrong, but this one was actually kind of cool. I think it was uh, made. It's a British film, and it's about these these the group of guys who are in their car at the beginning of this movie trying to figure out am I gonna are we gonna break in this house we gotta break in this house because this, this doctor has all this money stashed away in his house and he has he has a vault somewhere in his house when we need to find it and it's about them you know cr crashing into this house you know breaking in there throwing stuff around and trying to find the safe get all this money until they find out that the owners are there of these, these older people these older doctors are actually in the house and and they, they tie them up and like you know uh you know hold them hostage 
pretty much to try to figure out what the hell's going on. But you have to watch the movie to see how it all unfolds and why. Why are the owners? Are why are the owners? Are they a little crazy? Are they normal? You have to watch the movie to find out. But I thought it was pretty cool. It, it, it took me like 10, 15 minutes to actually get into it. But like as it as it was unfolding and like the mystery of stuff was going on, I fucking felt I felt I, I fell in love with this movie. You get a little making of uh, special feature red on here, but uh, yeah, there's yeah. You also see a, a girl in here. She she actually kind of joins the crew of the people that break into the house. Is going, guys, what are you doing? Don't go in there. You know what I mean? Because she comes because one of the guys that's that was about to go in there's like a boyfriend kind of thing. But uh, it's cool. It's cool. If you guys see this out in stores and it's like you know 15 bucks or less, I suggest checking this one out. It's, it's pretty solid. But guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today for my hoarding up video. Please make sure you guys check out the India Go Go campaign for the movie Mayday 2, which uh, I'll have like a little, you know, I'll be a part of the movie somehow uh, up in there, you know, due to the director talking to me. But uh, it should be kind of cool. Who knows how it's all going to unfold. But I'm excited to see, you know, what kind of cool positive things can happen uh, in the future. So uh, make sure you guys check out the India Go Go. Uh, show us some love and support. Like I said, Tara Reid, Bai Ling. Uh, Michael Perrier are all going to be a part of the film. There's other actors that they're going to be announcing real soon as well. But uh, yeah, please check out the India Go Go. And also my social media links are down below in the description as well. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit that thumbs up button. And I'll catch you knuckleheads for the next video. Yeah.